Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and I am here on the Carnival Panorama and in this video we are going to do my dining review. Hopefully you're a subscriber so you've seen the ship tour, my cruise review, and we also have my Carnival favorite video coming up. But let's dive into the dining. We'll talk about what's included, what's an extra charge, and what I thought of the food. We'll kick things off at the Lido Marketplace aka the buffet. Right as you enter there'll be these cool hand washing stations. You just put your hands in, it takes care of it for you. Now if you have any food allergies, you want to head to the menu mate podium on the starboard side they can help you navigate the buffet with what items may be good for you there's two different sections so each section has all the same items so see how there's like four different spots all of this is repeated so you don't have to walk all the way around just pick a line and then you can get the items there along the back wall there'll be different items so that's where you're going to find your salad bar some of your cold items and your fruit as well as your charcuterie don't miss the gelato it's made fresh in front of you and absolutely delicious it's right next to the fruit now there's another section in the aft called comfort kitchen which has different items but this is the same setup where each line is going to be repeated to kind of help the flow of traffic in the middle back where the comfort food kitchen is is deli eats this is the sandwich station you can pick hot or cold sandwiches my absolute favorite is the turkey sandwich on a pretzel roll it's delicious fresh shaved turkey don't miss it heading out to the pool deck you'll find blue iguana cantina so on one side you'll have burritos so you walk down the line and they make a burrito for you and then on the other side they're going to have huevos rancheros and arepas in the morning and tacos in the afternoon right behind that you're going to find the bar where you can add all your different hot sauces salsas and your queso you can get the shrimp tacos if it's not busy. They have to get the shrimp from the burrito line. That's my favorite. I also really like the chicken taco scene here and the watermelon jicama salsa. My favorite morning dish is the huevos rancheros. Across the pool deck, you'll find Guy's Burger Joint. So this also is included. It's where you want to go for the best burger at sea. Do you agree in the comments? Let me know. I think these are the best. Right behind the line, you'll find the toppings bar. It has sauteed onions. You can make chili cheese fries. I like doing it straight up cheeseburger and then adding the sauteed onions. The Pizzeria del Capitano's all the way at the aft of the ship, so all the way at the back past the buffet. They're making it fresh right in front of you. Down to the included dining rooms, there's the Vista and the Horizon. The Vista is going to be your set dining times. The Horizon is going to be your anytime dining time. So when you sign up for the cruise, you have a chance to pick. Do you want to eat at the same time at the same table every night or do you want a little more flexibility? One of my favorite activities is the Sea Day Brunch. You'll use the app to request a table. It has the flaming tomato soup. I'm glad that's lasted on the menu. I also really like the Caesar salad with the seared salmon on top and then the chicken and waffles. The chicken is excellent. The waffles are terrible. So just get it for the chicken. Now heading into the dinner service. I love the stuffed mushrooms and here's just a pick of what the wedge salad looks like. It's basically a garden salad where they give you the whole wedge. The fettuccine Alfredo with the chicken is a favorite. Very flavorful. I recommend skipping the key lime pie parfait. It just doesn't live up to the key lime hype, but I always enjoy getting the souffles. That's definitely something I don't get at home. It's a cruise favorite. I always order the flatbreads when they have them. This was the barbecue chicken one. It was very tasty, well seasoned, and the ribs. I always get the ribs. Now, I don't know why they give you a thimble full of mac and cheese. On the second formal night, I really enjoyed the spinach salad. This is also lobster night. I thought the lobster was very well done. It was one of the better lobster tails we've had on the seas. You can get two. Third one is an extra charge. And never miss the chocolate melting cake. Gigi's Asian Kitchen has an included lunch. Uh, it's extra charge for dinner, and I'll talk more about that. But the included lunch, they give you this little piece of paper, and then you mark what kind of stir fry or noodle bowl you like. We had the pork, which was excellent, very well seasoned. And then I had the shrimp noodle bowl. It could have had a little more sauce, but overall I thought it was delicious. Casino del Capitano works the same way. They have an included lunch where again, you get a little sheet to figure out what kind of pasta bowl you want. You can pick the pasta, the sauce, the fixing. You can also get lasagna. Be sure to check out the decorations. They're really sweet. The Caesar salad was very good. It had a 
good ratio of dressing to lettuce. I love the focaccia garlic bread here. So definitely check that out on your form. And then here's your little square of lasagna. It was okay. I thought the lasagna in the dining room was better. I picked the falafel pasta with all the veggies and some sausage. It was great. The afternoon tea is included, so it's usually between three to four on sea days. So they bring around a little cart with desserts on it, so you can select what you want. And then they also have trays of cucumber sandwiches and smoked salmon. So definitely worth a visit. Heading up to the Serenity area, you'll find Fresh Creations. This is only open on sea days, and it's the best salad bar on town in town. You can pick the different lettuces, your different proteins, and then all different types of toppings, including pasta. And there, the Pig and Anchor Brew House, there is an included barbecue lunch. It's outside. So be able to find it. You just want to walk through the Pig and Anchor Smokehouse, head to outside where you'll find this buffet line. And then you can pick all the different meats that you like. They also have some different barbecue sides. Heading back inside, Pig and Anchor. Now we're going to talk about the extra charge places to eat. So Pig and Anchor has a small menu where you can get these delicious brisket french fries. They also have chicken wings. Highly recommend both. You pay by the item. Seafood Shack is located on the aft of the ship by the pizza. This is where you can pay extra for special seafood items like a lobster roll, clam chowder. You can order off of the hub app. So if you see a line, you can always skip the line and order from the hub app. And then they have different daily pricing depending on the seafood you'd like to have. Bonsai Teppanyaki is available. Reservations are highly recommended. We couldn't get in during our sailing because it only has two tables, but it is open for lunch and dinner. There's also Bonsai Sushi where you get a little form as you can see here and you fill out the different rolls that you'd like. I really like that it has outdoor seating as well as the indoor seating here and the sushi bar that you can also sit around. Now going back up to Gigi's Asian Kitchen for the extra charge dinner, it's $18 per person. The meal starts with these delicious crispy potato cakes with the different dipping sauces. We also tried the spring rolls. They were pretty good. They were crispy. The filling was delicious. This was the duck. This wasn't a crowd favorite. The little fry cakes were a bit odd and under seasoned, but we always love the wontons and the different dumplings. They set this up as a shared course so they'll just bring you however many people you have at the table this is the shrimp dish the sauce was really good but they kept the tails on making it very hard to eat the chinese broccoli was a hit would definitely order again highly recommend it the lo mein noodles were terrific we really enjoyed all the different flavors there but and the green beans were my favorite these spicy green beans were the best thing on the table you can also get a side of fried rice instead of noodles if you'd like and then the pork dish was terrific this was the best main we ordered definitely get that Cucina del Capitano is also $18 per person and you head in, you order off a menu. It's a little bit different than the lunch options. You know, similar to Gigi's, you have a lot of different choices for the type of Italian meal you want to enjoy. Fahrenheit 555 is the steakhouse. Definitely want to get reservations there and at all of these places. It gets very busy. You also have the option for a chef's table. Reservations are required and the green eggs and ham breakfast. This isn't just for kiddos. You can head there and enjoy some of the whimsical fun treats. So don't miss that. And Carnival Kitchen is available on the panorama. These are cooking classes. So it's kind of tucked in behind the elevators. They have the Carnival Kitchen where you come in and you get different workstations and you learn to make all different kinds of things. They had a breakfast class, a pizza class, a sushi class, a barbecue class. So it's a lot of fun. I think it's well worth the time and the money and to be sure to check it out. And last but not least, you have the room service. Now this is an extra charge, but it's not just room service. You can have food delivered wherever you are. So you're gonna click on food order. Then you can choose your stateroom or where you physically are on the deck. You point on the map your physical location so they'll be able to find you to bring you your food. Then you put in your order. So each item is priced individually, so you just press the plus uh, for you know what item you'd like to have. You can add drinks as well as food. Then you confirm your order. You'll pay the food subtitle, subtotal as well as the 18% gratuity. Then you check out. It will tell you how long it will be, and then you can add your picture. 
The app will provide updates along the way, so when the order's being made, out for delivery. So that is the dining review. What do you think? What's the first thing you're gonna try on the Carnival Panorama?